This video describes the detailed process for installing Windows 11, Windows 11 on macOS Monterey using VirtualBox free software. It's very simple. Just follow the steps to get to the result. First, we have to download the required software VirtualBox. VirtualBox can be downloaded from its official website just by pressing this link. Also, you have to download the VirtualBox extensions. You can download Windows 11 from Microsoft website just by pressing download. Here are the downloaded folders, VirtualBox, Oracle extensions, and Windows 11 ISO image. Now I have the downloaded files on my desktop, VirtualBox 6.1, Oracle extensions, and Windows 11 English version and I have to start by installing VirtualBox just by double clicking the file and double clicking the installation package and wait for the installation to complete and deal with all the messages that appear while installing VirtualBox it's very simple just by writing your password and accept the messages uh, now I have to press allow Followed by continue, install, write the password of your MacBook, and install software. Wait until the installation is completed. Okay, now I have installed the virtual box. Let's open the application from the launchpad. Okay, now we have to install the extensions. This extensions just from preferences, extensions tab, add the extensions, select it from your desktop, open, install, agree, write the password of your MacBook, and press OK, waiting until the installation is complete successfully, OK, OK, now I have Oracle Virtual Machine uh, on my MacBook. Uh, we can now perform the installation of Windows 11 just by pressing new type the name of your virtual machine for example Windows 11 you can see that the version changed to Windows 11 press continue uh, this is enough memory we can leave it as it is Create virtual hard disk now. Create virtual hard disk drive. Dynamically allocated. I think this is uh, suitable for your MacBook. Dynamic allocated hard disk fill file is will only use space on your physical hard disk as it fills up. Okay. Continue. Change the size to be six four gigabytes create now I have created the virtual machine it needs only small adjustments press settings ensure that the system boots from the optical drive processor is two processors the video memory like that okay now we have to select the storage to be the windows 11 iso folder add select the iso folder from your desktop windows 11 iso folder Choose, press OK. 
you can see that the storage name appears here. Now we can start the installation. Press any key from your keyboard. Remove these messages. Now we are installing Windows 11. It's a process that may take time. Select Next. Install now. I don't have product key. Choose the version you want to install in your machine. Windows 11 Pro for example. Next. You may face an error message that reports that this PC can't run Windows 11. I have a video in my channel that describes the full solution to this problem. You can find the link to this video at the end of, uh, of this video or in the description of this video and I think it will appear in this video on upper here. You can uh, use this solution to fix this problem and complete the installation as described here. Now I have fixed the problem as described in my video and restarted the installation. Just press install now. Skip this step by selecting I don't have product key. Select any suitable operating system you want to install, Windows 11 Pro for example. Next. You can see that the message doesn't disappear and the installation is completing smoothly. Accept this message, press next. Select the drive you want to install the version on it. Next. Now wait until the installation is completed. Now the installation steps finished. We start now. Now the installation is finished. We are just selecting some configurations. Type your name. Create a password. Select a security question. Now we have Windows 11 on my virtual machine and you can use it normally and install any wanted Windows application without any problems. Now you have a real Windows 11 on your desktop. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website itechformac.net for more tutorials. Thank you.